Hey, now, this one right here, this one right here, ooh, this one right here. For the generation that can't find a good man, y'all sure get pregnant a lot. <sighs> I'm glad she said it, man. I'm glad she said it. Now I can just go ahead and elaborate on it. Yeah, man, I think that's kind of crazy, right? For a generation that can't find a good man, y'all sure get pregnant a lot. Mm, mm, mm. And... I feel mixed emotions about this because I don't want y'all to feel like I be on here woman bashing because that's not what it is because I have a great, I have a great woman and I know some great women, right? And I can say this much, man, just from knowing different females and ladies and stuff, right? I know a handful of females that's in fucked up situations, but it's not because you... It's not because they just hoes, right? It's just because they a little bit too loyal. Now, let me explain that. Okay. Too loyal meaning, right? Let's say they with a guy, and he already done basically showed them, they showed them their true colors. Like, he already done showed his true colors, right? Instead of her just going ahead and jumping ship right then, she, she... She would rather just try to see it through. Like, okay, well, maybe he will change. Or maybe, you know, he only liked this for whatever reason. And it could change, right? See, the problem with that is if they end up with a guy that does not see the issues they have. And where they're kind of fucked up individuals. Well, what I'm learning is a follower only is going to be as good as the leader. So, if you're not leading her correctly, how you expect for her to follow correctly? You feel what I'm saying? And I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna tell you like this. Let's say she, let's say she got one, two, let's say she got two baby daddies, right? But let's say the first baby daddy, she got two kids with. And then the second one, she got one kid with. And now she's single, right? With girls like that, they tend to be the most damaged, meaning. The first guy, they gave him not one, but two chances, right? Because they had two kids. But with the second guy, they gave him one chance, seeing he went shit and just let him ride. Now, by the time they get to the third potential baby daddy, it's like they are very scared. You dig what I'm saying? To those women, I can't even be mad at you for not wanting to put yourself out there no more. It's like, bro, at this point. But it's like, okay, this is what you got to look at as that girl that's in that predicament, right? What type of decision making have I been making? Meaning, have I been making poor decisions or all men just ain't shit, right? Truth is, you just make bad decisions. Meaning, you can see how fucked up a person is. And instead of you believing that shit, you so stubborn to the point you might feel like you could fix that person. You might feel like, Oh, I'm what they need, so I'ma just stay until they fix, until they right or whatever. It's not your job, bro. And then you get into that predicament and that that position where you become this person that's been spoken about with all these and getting pregnant a lot, and you know claiming ain't no good men. But it's like, okay, if it ain't no good men, why you keep letting bad men stick dick in you? That's the question. <laughs> you continue to take bad men dick when you claim that you want a good one, right? When nine times out of ten, that good one was the one you didn't want to fuck with. That good one was the one you felt like was lame. That good one was the one you felt like was some kind of loser or something, right? Whole time, the one that you just so lustful over and mesmerized over is the one that's going to really fuck your life up. And I done seen it happen. Like, not even just one time. Like, either I seen it literally happen, time frame by time frame, or I seen the aftermath of it. You feel what I'm saying? And mostly it's the aftermath I done seen. You did. But like I said before, it's all about what a person claim they looking for. Most women say, just be honest with me. Tell me the truth, da 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 and I probably won't trip. Well, truth be told, if you don't tell them the truth from day one, like how I did with my girl, you gonna have problems with your whole relationship. And I tell you what I mean. Me and my girl just had our sixth anniversary, six-year anniversary, September 24th, right? 
But before we actually committed to being in a relationship, she knew that I wanted to have two wives. She knew that I wanted to have either two wives or a wife and a concubine or whatever you would call it. You feel me? Just another woman. You feel me? She knew that from day one. She said, okay, bet. We've been together six years. Now, do I have this other concubine? No. Have I had one in the past? Yeah, a few times. But me having a lot of respect for my wife and her feelings and just what would work for the whole tribe, I had to let these girls go because I just could tell, like, y'all, was, y'all, y'all, they wouldn't go work for our situation. You know what I'm saying? My situation is very laid back. We cool, we chill, we smile, we laugh, we have fun, we love each other. We do shit like that, right? But, and on the flip side, I ain't just out here slinging dick everywhere either. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm not trying to say I'm the perfect man for every female, but if you say you want somebody that's honest and loyal and all this other shit, that's me. But instead of them going after what they claim they say they really want, as soon as they find that incense, let's say they find a dude that's completely honest with them, that ain't gonna lie to them, ain't gonna tell them no truth, have them jump through no hoops or nothing. They will avoid that to go over here to this dream world where you got the dudes that's just gonna tell you what you wanna hear, get what they want, and be gone. And that end up being the reason why you got the ones that get pregnant a lot and then claim it ain't no good men. Oh, there's plenty of good men. There's <laughs> plenty of good men. You just didn't get them. Because when you had the chance to get them, you missed it. Some of y'all gonna miss it for ego. Some of y'all gonna miss it because of pride. But most of y'all gonna miss that shit for being stubborn. So, get out of this imaginary world. If you got somebody that's telling you some shit that, that damn, that was the realest shit I ever heard, and it rubbed you the wrong way, you might want to look into it deeper and find out some things about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because it was a lot of stuff I had to learn. I'm going to put it to you like this. I could be the dude with a bunch of different baby mamas. I could be very much. But guess what? I was smart. Because I knew what I wanted. And when I seen it and when I touched it and I held it and I grabbed it and I caught a hold on to it and stuff like that, guess what I did? I went on here and made it. I stood on business, bro. I stood on business. So, to the females out there that's just getting pregnant a lot, claiming that ain't no good men, Evaluate yourself. I know I probably went off topic or whatever because I tend to do that, but it's just how everything just goes together. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't no reason it should be a bunch of a lot of a lot of females pregnant when it's no good men. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, find you a good one. Hang on to your good one. Treat you good one right, and they'll treat you right. And if you happen to have more than one good one, treat them all right. Period. It's that easy.